Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Also, you can take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so Gemini, I see that in the recent past we have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. So for some of you in the recent past or in the past you could have um, been pursuing this person, chasing this person, you are very interested in them here. Uh, I see that you didn't want this person to you didn't want to lose this person here so for some of you maybe you've been doing things in the past where you weren't really making yourself a priority or you weren't putting yourself first here and i see that you've been trying to work things out here in the past here with that three of this maybe you worked with this person or you met this person through work here but i see that you are very you were very persistent you were very persistent on trying to work things out and making a decision here to to pursue this but i see that somebody wasn't ready here somebody wasn't ready to um to allow things to grow and develop and collaborate with you. So I do see that somebody was very, very uh, worried, stressed out, anxious about things not working out in the long term or things not working out in general, or that somebody maybe had a wandering eye or was looking into a different uh, situation or was interested in a different person here because for some of you there is a third party we have seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference so let's look at your person what they're thinking and what they're feeling here in terms of you We have the King of Swords. So it looks like this person has kind of detached themselves emotionally here this with this King of Swords. So um, they're showing up like they don't care when it comes to this situation or they don't really care if things work out or not. And I see that this has to do because they've been hurt or they've been heartbroken in the past. And it has turned them into a cold and detached person here. So this pain has turned them cold. They have uh, really just shut down, distanced themselves. You may be noticing that here. And I see that this is something that happened suddenly, a sudden shift. But I see a communication coming in here. I see this person wanting to communicate with you and this person is missing you. So this person misses you and they miss the time that you have because you know what what I'm seeing now is that now you're showing up as the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So in the past you were chasing this person and now you're a runner. So now that you don't care about this person or now that you're... Um, trying to get away from them or realizing that this isn't worth it anymore now this person wants to communicate with you and now they're wanting and now they're missing you and now they're wanting to have a reconciliation with you and try to balance things out here now that you've distanced yourself and it's leaving them heartbroken it's leaving them in pain because you were the one in the past that was chasing this person and you were the one that was always try to make things work and make ends meet here and this person was just not giving that in return so I guess now you're you're in the runner position now you're moving away from this person here and now that you don't want them they want you 
So let's take a look at your situation. Gemini, I see that you're right now like focused on yourself, focused on your uh, hobbies, your career, your finances, doing what you love to do. Focusing on what you love, healing, and I see that you're getting this communication from this person that it wants to work things out with you now and wanting to have a reconciliation and try to work something out here, make something happen, make something good out of it. But for some of you, I see that you're here with the world card. You're pretty much over it. You're com This is coming to a completion here for you. The circle is being closed off and this now this communication is com coming in very, very suddenly, very, very quickly. And it's going to catch you off guard. For some of you, you're, you're going to be really... Hi, Gemini. Sorry about that. My memory um, got cut off. But we're going to take a look at the near future with you and your person. So we have the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. All right. So what's going on in the near future with Gemini and their person here? What's going on in the near future with Gemini and their person? We have the Empress, wow. All right, so somebody is really persistent on wanting to grow things and develop things even further, work it, working on it, working towards something long term and working on love here. So with the Empress, I see that there's a love message, a love bomb with that page of cups. Somebody is just laying it all out there. There is... Um, for, I see that somebody has love that is starting to grow here. It's starting to, uh, it's starting to come out. And I see a decision is being made here over a situation. Somebody is having fears of love or fears of falling in love. Fears of getting too close here. But there's a serious conversation that's needing to happen here with that page of swords. You guys are going to have a serious, serious conversation. Somebody wants to uh, develop things with you here. But I see a turn of events happening. There's a turn of events here. There's some communication or you're gaining some type of knowledge that has to do with another person. It could be a mother or somebody who is uh, pregnant or it could be um, a mother or a father, baby mother, baby father. We have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. So let's take a look here at this outcome. What's going on here? Eight of Wands. So you're receiving lots and lots of information all at one time. A lot of information that has to do with another person um, that you're gaining some type of clarity on. And for some of you guys, if you decide to stay in this situation, which for most of you, I see that you're pretty much over it. Um, it could it could end up just as disappointment with that five of cups. It could just end up a disappointment because there's going to be a lot of information that you might not want to hear. And I just have to be truthful. I have to just have to be honest here about what I'm seeing. I see that eventually though, you're going to realize that if you haven't already, you deserve more. And you're going to be moving into a different direction here. You're getting out of this rocky place and you're going to be moving towards a more abundant and prosperous situation overall in general. So <clears throat> let's get some details here. Details for Gemini and your person. Somebody could be a dark male or have some dark features or be dark for their cultural background. We have passion. So I see that this person this person acts on their impulses or urges, if you know what I mean here, on their passion or lust. 
Um, I see that somebody is now wanting to communicate that they want to have uh, a serious situation here, something serious with you, but I feel like you're going to start to free yourself here. You're freeing yourself from a situation where there's just a lot of information that is just not bringing you any, um, any benefit. Releasing control. So it's like you're, you're freeing yourself from something that's been holding you back or an attachment that you had or soul tie that you had. You're releasing yourself from this here in your outcome. So I'm going to get a few more cards before I close off this reading here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, but this is happening after you free yourself, after you release yourself from a situation. This person is going to try to win you back into their life here and wanting to have another chance here. And I see that this person has a very strong attraction to you, but overall it would, it could possibly just end in betrayal or deception. So... Uh, this is what I'm getting for you. Honestly, I just have to tell the truth. Just say how I see it. But if this is your story or if it resonates with you, let me know in the description box below. If you found some guidance or clarity in it, also let me know. I hope that you did and that you found healing or empowerment out of this as well. So thank you all for watching. Bye.